definitely going to be the best YouTube video you've ever seen. But I just thought I'd do a quick video just to possibly help someone that might be struggling with the same problem. It's a Ford Focus Mark III um, 2012 1.6 petrol. Basically the battery light was on, uh, no other real symptoms. Um, so what we did was check to see if it's charging. Uh, the battery was charging fine. Um, it, it seemed to be a bit high, maybe 15 volts at some, some stage. But if you look into the, the way these charge, uh, the Ford Smart Charge system, it can fluctuate from apparently from 12 to 16, so 15 is fairly normal for these. Uh, or it can be normal for these, should I say. Um, so anyway, first thing you want to do is obviously check it for fault codes. We have we had three fault codes. Uh, one that was to do with communication, a communication error with the um, Linbus uh, wire on the alternator signal wire. Uh, two other fault codes. One to do with the grill shutters. Actually, both were to do with the grill shutters. One, one was uh, communication error with the grill shutters, and the other one was stuck grill shutters. So basically, by the grill shutters, I mean, if you look, look inside here, um, it's hard to see, but you've got like a series of flaps. Um, so basically, they open and close uh, at different coolant temperatures to do with you know fuel efficiency, aerodynamics, that kind of thing. Um, the reason why that matters is because they share the same signal wire as the um, signal wire for the alternator. So if you're having all, if you're having charging problems, you know alternator problems, uh, battery light, d definitely uh, you know don't discredit the um, any information regarding the grill shutters because it's quite possible that that is to do with the same issue. Um, so what you want to make basically make sure the grill shutters are working. So um, how you do that is you just put the ignition on. Um, when you put the ignition on, the grill shutters should open up. And then when you start the car the, if from cold, they should close. And then when you switch the engine off again, this should open back up again. Um, so it should should work like that. Uh, so you want to check their operation, make sure they're not seized, make sure there's nothing stuck in there that's blocking them from opening or closing. Um, what you want to try and do is get to the plug underneath. There's, there's two plugs. There's, I'll show you in a minute. There's one that plugs directly underneath into the actual motor itself and one that where there's like a there's like a connection down there so there's like a loom that comes from there like a pigtail that comes from there there's a connection down here which i'll show you in a moment um so when i unplug them check for corrosion you know check for uh, see if there's any broken wires there for definite um so that's you know the first things you want to check also you want to check these fuses so you want to check f22 and f35 uh, if you share my fault codes um, so F22 being that 15 amp fuse there for the battery monitoring system and that F35 there for the grill shutters um, so if you're struggling with a similar kind of problems what I ended up doing was if you unplug the signal wire which is quite hard to get to but what I did was obviously disconnect the battery if you unscrew the the main positive terminal off the back of the alternator and then you you can get to the plug so you don't have to actually remove the alternator to get to the plug for the signal wire get to the plug unplug it check that wire because I'm telling you now that wire is a pain in the ass and it causes all sorts of problems on these so ch check it where it goes into the plug check the plug itself uh, for corrosion you know water ingress all those kind of things um, there should be nine volts at that wire when the engine's running so check for that um, in my case, there was 9 volts at that wire, as soon as you plugged it into the alternator, it dropped, when you probed it from behind the wire, it dropped to 1.5, um, so we sent this alternator, we well, sent the alternator off to be tested, um, at a place that's just around the corner that specialises in alternators, so might as well have them check it, came back and said it had a faulty um, regulator, um, and we replaced the alternator basically. Uh, but check that um, signal wire for um, for nine volts. Another thing problem that this this had was um, you want to check the so that that wire basically is the same wire all the way through this loom here. Get the light. Um, I believe I'm cold blind, but I believe it to be blue and brown. But it comes through here and it splits in two, so it splices about here comes from comes from the ECU at uh, PCM sorry up here um, go, goes down there to the alternator 
and it comes up here and it goes to the grill shutters goes goes to the grill shutters via I believe it to be that wire through the fuse box all the way down there to the grill shutters and it's the, if you unplug the grill shutters it's the middle wire now unplug the grill shutters check that middle wire for power that should be 9 volts as well if it isn't 9 volts because it wasn't in our case it was zero what I had to do was just temporarily bridge the wire from the the signal wire from the back of the alternator the limbus wire bridge that to the central grill shutter wire to basically bypass the rest of the um, wiring because obviously it's got a problem somewhere with that wire um, started it up battery lights gone fault codes have gone uh, grill shutters are working fine because they weren't working in our case um, so there's obviously a, a breakage somewhere in that wire which is weird because I did a continuity test between the plug on the back of the alternator and the loom where it joins I did a con and that worked out fine very little resistance do you know perfect continuity I did I did a test between the middle plug on the uh, down there for the grill shutters and the um, the ECU where it comes comes directly out the PCM sorry perfect continuity and very little resistance so I can't understand where the wire problem is but re you know nevertheless when I bridged it from the signal wire in the back of the alternator directly to the grill shutters it fucking solved every problem and everything seems to be fine since then so um, basically if if you've got when, when the grill shutters unplugged if you've got nine volts there um, and you plug it back in and you, you probe it from behind the grill shutters and it drops down or the voltage changes from nine volts that would suggest a problem with the motor with the grill shutters it's not necessary to replace the entire grill shutter assembly you can actually just replace the motor or some people call it the actuator um, you know it's not necessary to replace the whole thing you can actually just you remove the front end um, take the grill shutters out and just just replace the actual motor itself there's actually a technical s service bulletin out by ford um it says something along the lines of um if you have the battery light on you know this kind of model car um unplug the grill shutters and if the battery light stays on then replace the alternator or something like that but it's bullshit but um basically yeah so you nine volts there check your fuses nine volts at that plug um, if you've got some, if if your alternator um, signal wire is unplugged, and your grill shutter plugs unplugged, and you've still got something different from nine volts, if you probe it from the where the um, PCM plug is, find out which wire it is, and probe it from there, and you've still got not got nine volts when the engine's running, then I'm pretty sure you've got something wrong with your PCM. Um, so I'd I'd probably put that down to a PCM fault. But in this case. Um, we had a faulty regulator in the alternator and for some f unbelievable reason um, a break in the wire between the limbus wire between this it's the signal wire from the alternator which goes from the alternator to the grill shutter to the um, PCM so yeah that's pretty much it really it's you know process of diagnosing we didn't need any special tools just a multimeter um, and that's it really nothing nothing in particular um, so I'll lift the car up now and I'll show you underneath what I mean by the, the plugs for the grill shutters. Also another good check that you should do for the grill shutter plug is to check it for 12 volts with the ignition on. Um, so there's obviously the plug you've got three wires. The central wire is the data wire um, and one of the outer wires is the ground wire and one of the outer wires is the positive wire. You should be getting battery voltage with the ignition on to them two wires. Um, if you haven't check the ground wire uh, continuity between the ground wire and obviously ground um, and check for resistance between the, the ground wire and the ground as well uh, I can't tell you off the top of my head which one's the ground but it'd be straightforward piece of piss to figure it out um, so I'll just lift the car up now so I can show you which plugs for the grill shutters and then yep right we're underneath the car now and um, right so in this um, well in England it's right and drive so this is the, you know, passenger side, but obviously it's the near side. Um, wheel arch, you've obviously got the PCM and loom in this wheel arch, and you've also got the plug for the grill shutters. 
Um, so that, um, where are we now? It changes colour when it once it plugs into the to the pigtail for the um, actuator. Um, oh, fucking, can't really see. Bear with me. Right. Pardon my French. So that middle wire, the one that's like blue and brown or whatever it is, that's the signal wire that also is shares the same wire as the um, alternator signal wire. Um, so just like we mentioned before. So basically what you want to do is like I've just said is unplug this, you know, not the best way but you know. Um, one of these, either one of these is ground, possibly that one, and the other one is, is live. So just check with a multimeter with the ignition on, just the two outer ones, what matter which, um, just to make sure you're getting 12 volts to this plug. Because if you're not, there's a problem somewhere um, to do with the grill shutters, and it could easily affect the alternator, the charge in the battery light, so forth. Um, obviously nine volts, that's cent central wire. Uh, 12 volts, either one of these. If you haven't got 12 volts, check, check to make sure you've got a ground um, between you know, the ground wire and, and the body uh, chassis or ne negative terminal. Um, right, I don't know what the resistance should be on this motor, but I think mine was something like 1.4 ohms or something like that. I can't remember to be honest. I won't take that for gospel. Um, but we there was no problem with the actual motor, or should I say actuator, for the grill shutters in this case. Um, it was more a wiring issue and a regulator fault with the alternator. Um, so yeah, so that this is where it plugs in, and then there's also another plug under there, which is apparently very common for um, water ingress, corrosion. You know, with situ being where it's situated, and obviously cars that have been in front end collisions suffer with damage to this wiring loom or can do, and you know it causes all sorts of problems with the battery light and the charging and so forth. Um, so yeah, just basically that's it, more or less. Any questions, feel free to comment or do you know message me or whatever and i'll put as much information as i can in the in the um description of the video um thanks for watching